Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. It's not even 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, uh, I'm going to skip around. I have an unexpectedly busy day today. I've come across a few breaking stories, really just just coming out. And I always need, even if it's not quite in my wheelhouse, and even if they're not connected, I, I just feel the need to talk about them. So I'm going to talk about two different, kind of two very different stories this morning. You just touch on them. And I want to come back later. I'm going to throw it, throw both of them at the wall and see if it, if, if either one sticks. And I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it later. Uh, the first story is about Anne H., the uh, blonde, short-haired, blonde actress. I believe she was... The, the, only, the only movie that comes to mind is uh, Seven Days, Seven Nights, Seven Days. I think it was called. She was on vacation getting chased by smugglers or something. I'm going to talk about her. Uh, very From what's being reported just hours ago. Uh, severe accident and I want to talk a little bit about Donald Trump some more breaking news with him and I want to talk about a pet peeve uh, uh, that concerns people like me uh, never Trumpers and some some what some of us say that they just I, it doesn't click with me okay let's start at the very beginning Ann H this is just breaking uh, apparently this is Thursday night in LA it's 3 30 a.m. here on the East Coast that means you know it was just hours ago in LA uh, TMZ is reporting this. The link will be right down below. Now, TMZ is usually reliable, but, okay, this is what's being reported. She was in a car accident, and she has severe brain injuries, and she's not expected to survive, which, man, that, that breaks my heart when this happens to anybody. And there's, there's a little more to the story that really uh, it gives me, it seriously just gives me goosebumps when I talk about it, because it could have been me. Um... Apparently, this is what TMZ TMZ is reporting. She's driving this Mini Cooper. I think it was a wagon. Reportedly, they're reporting that she was in two hit and runs before running into a house with her Mini Cooper, and she's uh, suffered severe brain injuries, uh, and she's not expected to survive. Uh, also, the car caught on fire. There, I'll, I, I might I might put a picture of the car on the thumbnail. I have a picture of it, and uh, I don't. It, it just makes me cringe knowing that somebody was in this. Uh, this is the thing that why I'm really talking about this. TMZ is reporting. Now I don't know how they this if this just happened say six hours ago at, at most six hours ago that reportedly they found cocaine and fentanyl in her blood. Now I don't know how that is possible. I, I really don't know how how they could get that so quickly. It, it makes sense. Uh, the reason I say it could be me is because I remember driving around. I remember what they call nodding out, and uh, it when I was using opiates, and I would just come to in time before I would hit a, a telephone pole or guardrails. It, it's like falling asleep while you're driving, but you don't have the common sense to pull over. Uh, it just made me cringe when I saw this because, I mean, it, it could have been me a hundred times over uh, there before the grace of God go I. And, uh, you know, it just, I, I, once I get my thoughts together and uh, whatever happens, happens, I want to talk more about it. But it, it's, I swear to God, I'm getting goosebumps now. Uh, it just, it, she's a famous person, but this happens hundreds of times every day across the United States. And I want to talk a little bit more about that once I get my thoughts together on this. Because it, it, it could have been me. Okay, let's talk about Donald Trump now. Uh, some breaking news. Some breaking Merrick Garland, the DOJ, reportedly, or the, the link will be down below to this, are unsealing, want to unseal the warrant and the list of things taken. Because I, I think, in, not in, in my own words, he, Merrick Garland is basically saying he, he's not going to stand by while his his agency is besmirched, so he's he's gonna he's gonna say, look, this is what we found, and now there's uh, several articles kind of joking, like what's Trump gonna do now? Try to to uh, to try to reseal these things because this is supposedly what's in these nuclear secrets. Now I already hear the Trump supporters going fake news, fake news. Now reportedly there's something called signal intelligence. I'm going to leave this to Bo the fifth column because uh, I don't have a freaking clue what signal intelligence is. But it's got to do with nukes, uh, not just ours, but other countries and uh, the Saudis. And there's a whole twisted tale 
of what they were looking for with good, with very, with evidence that it was there, that he actually brought nuclear top level, top level nuclear secrets to his golf course in mar lago <laughs> You know, there's actually a quote from a general, I, I, it should be in the articles uh, in the links below, where uh, one of the, the generals just said, uh, Jesus Christ. You know, that I hope I can say that, uh, you know, just in, in disbelief. Okay, now I'm going to talk more about that as it breaks. So that's uh, supposedly these documents, uh, the DOJ wants to uncover, and make it all transparent. This is, this is how we found out. This is what we found. This is why we searched it. And, it, and, it's, and it's, it's going to look bad for Trump and for anybody that's like, you know, talking about defunding the FBI right now and stuff like that. Uh, I'll put the articles down below so you can read them for yourself. Last thing I want to talk about. One of these articles talks about Trader Tot. I think it's PolitiZoom. I, I, don't, I don't want to diss them or anything. And I think Daily Cost might do this too. These are right-wing media organizations. Uh, a lot of people out there name call. Uh, you know, Trump... That's, that's his trademark. And his supporters love this. The one that the one that just eats at me is when he, he used that Pocahontas. That that just burns me, man. And not just because I'm part Native American, but it just ticks me off to no end. Uh, you know, this is his trademark. And when I see people like me, people on the left, Democrats, the whole spectrum, some people use these these nicknames, these juvenile nicknames, Trader Tot, Orange Man, uh, Trader, Trader Tot is the one I see the most. And I don't know what it's even supposed to be. Is it, is it supposed to be a, a wordplay on Tater Tot, on Trader? I, I don't even get it. And it, it just makes me cringe when I see it. This is what I want to leave you guys with. Think of the, the most hated, the, the most evil people throughout history. I right off the bat, I know you got some pictures right in your head, right there. I could think of one from uh, uh, from Hollywood in the late '60s. I could think of one from Germany in the '40s, uh, Italy. Think about this: Do we use any kind of nicknames for them? No, because their name it, it, it it's a brand of evil all in its own. And I believe that's what Trump, you know, Trump in the name in itself in my opinion, is enough of a uh, uh, an insult, really. I don't know what else to call it. Um, to, to put, I, I just hate to see people put themselves on the same level as Donald Trump by using these, these nicknames. It's just not a... I just wanted to put that in there. I know I skipped around in this video. I got a really busy day. I'll be back later. So Anne H., uh, not expected to survive... Uh, Merrick Garland releasing uns uh, DOJ is signed to uh, unseal everything. The uh, evidence, why they went in, what they got, everything. And it does, and it's, it's worse than anybody expected. Uh, some crazy stuff. And Trader Tot, you know, really think about it. If you use that, if you use that term, I mean, it's up to you, you know, you can do what you want, but I cringe when I hear that. All right. I will be back later. I'm sorry. I was a little jumbled in this video. I will be back later. Like I said, I want to see what sticks, what people are interested, what they're not. And I'll be back later with another video. Have a great Friday.